and was standing here only because you made a way. Hi, my name is Zoe, the tall, the beautiful, the highly favorite, the set of part. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this one. Okay, so I started YouTube not so long ago and I was doing a lot of different things trying to figure out what I liked. And it is only recently that I have found my niche, what I want to focus on. And that is financial fitness, money management, and uh, everything along those lines. So since I've, thought, I've started doing videos on this niche, I realized that I've been talking about credit scores and credit reports. And so therefore I've decided to just sit down and talk about what these things are, why they're so important and all of those things. And so therefore in this video, I'm going to be talking about credit scores and credit reports. Please remember that none of what I say constitutes as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please seek it with someone who is registered with the FSCA. Okay. A credit score is a three digits number that creditors use to determine how likely you are to pay back their money on time if they were to give you credit. A credit score is built based on your credit history. Your credit history is compiled into a credit report. And so therefore, in order to have a credit score, you need to have a credit history. In order to have a credit report, you need to have a credit history as well. Now, in as much as it is important to have credit in order to have a credit report and a credit score, it is not necessary to get credit that is outside of your affordability range because then it's going to defeat the whole purpose and it's actually going to be the opposite of what you're trying to do. If you get credit that you cannot afford and in the long run you cannot pay back because it's going to end up reflecting negatively on your credit score and your credit report. So stick to what you can afford. Okay, so it is not everyone who has a credit score or a credit report. If you are a recent migrant, you will not have a credit score. If you do not use credit at all, you use cash and debit cards, then you will not have a credit score. If um, you are under debt review, you will either have a credit score of zero or a negative credit score. If you are too young and you do not have any experience with credit, then you will not have a credit score or a credit report. Okay, so in South Africa, we have four main credit bureaus. These are the people that collect and compile your credit history so that if you go and look for credit from somewhere, then those people that you're trying to get credit from can request your credit report or your credit um your credit score from one or all of these credit bureaus to determine how your credit history is like, how your credit behavior is like, whether they can trust you with their credit or not. Okay. Now there's two different types. That is an inquiry. You going to ask for credit is called an inquiry, right? Now there's two different types of inquiries. We have soft inquiries. We have hard inquiries. When you check your own credit report, your own credit score, it's, it's called a soft, it's categorized as a soft inquiry. It does not hurt your credit score or your credit report. It does not affect it negatively, right? But when you go to creditors and they do an inquiry in your name, then that is a, a hard inquiry because it can look negatively on your credit score. And if you do too many hard inquiries, it can end up looking like you're desperate for credit. And so therefore it puts the creditors at an ease or at unrest if it looks like you're desperate for credit. And so therefore it is important that you don't do too many unnecessary hard inquiries. It's, there's no need for window shopping when in terms of credit. You don't need to go around checking if you qualify for something that you don't even need. It's a hard inquiry. It's going to show up on your credit report that you have too many hard inquiries and it's, it's, it's not going to look good for your credit report and your credit score as well. The higher your credit score is the higher your chances of getting credit at good borrowing terms. And what do you mean by that? That means that they can give you credit at a lower interest rate than what is the borrowing rate at that time. And so in the long run, this saves you money because now you're, going, you're not going to be paying a lot of interest. You're going to be paying less money on interest than what a person with a lower credit score would pay. In South Africa, we have four main credit bureaus, and they are Experian, TransUnion, 
CompuScan and XDS. With Experian, your their credit score ranges from zero to seven or five. With TransUnion, it ranges from zero to triple nine. Now, according to the National Credit Act, each person is liable to a credit report for free once a year. However, there are places like ClearScore where you can check your report on a, on a regular basis for free and your credit score on a regular basis. And also with uh, TransUnion and the, other, and the other credit barriers, you can subscribe to them in order to get your credit score and your credit report on a monthly basis or like on a term plan like every three months or every six months or something like that where you pay for it. You can use clear score for free to get your credit score you can even download the app for free to get your credit score and your credit report on a regular basis without paying and it's not going to hurt your credit score or your credit report because it is a soft inquiry you are the one that's looking at it also remember that when you're trying to get other things so it's not just your credit card and your loan the way they check your credit score and your credit report uh, other things where they check your report and your credit score is when you're trying to get a contract that is credit, cell phone contract, data contract, or whatever, as long as it is credit. When you're trying to get an apartment or a place to stay, they will check your credit report or your credit score. All of these are considered hard inquiries. Um, sometimes when you're looking for a job, you're potential employers can look at your credit report not your credit score your credit report they are allowed to do that so it's not just for getting credit a way people can check your credit score also you will notice that when you're trying to get credit they will they will ask you if you consent to them looking at your credit score and your credit report and when you say yes that's when they do a hard inquiry so be careful not to consent consent be careful not to consent to hard inquiries where it is not necessary for you to be even looking at that credit. Okay, so now we know what a credit score is. We know what a credit report is. We know why it is important to have a good credit score. And uh, we know who can have credit and uh, who cannot. And we know about the credit bureaus in South Africa and how they work. And we also know how to check your credit score and your credit report. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you the, the different credit bureaus their websites so that you can go there and check your credit score and your credit report now i just want to say that when um you have credit with your credit i'm just going to say that uh whatever happens with you and them maybe you miss a payment or something like that uh they can report to either one or all of the the credit bureaus they can either report to one or two or three or all of them so that's why it's important that you check your credit score and your credit report with all of the four um, credit bureaus so that you get a clear picture also so that you can keep track if there are any errors or mistakes maybe there are accounts that you've already closed but they still appear on your credit report so that you can dispute them right so different credit bureaus will have slightly different credit reports for the same person so check with all of them now how do you uh increase i'll say increase how do you increase improve is the english word i'm looking for how do you improve and maintain a good credit score number one pay your debt on time if you know you're going to miss your debt Call your creditors and arrange a different date for them to credit your account. I have said this before. Um, arrange with them a different date for them to debit your account so that they do not report you to the credit bureau so that it doesn't affect you negatively, right? So pay on time and uh, pay off your debt and keep your balances low on your credit cards. Speaking of credit cards, it is very important that you keep your credit utilization ratio low and by low i mean 30 percent or less so if you have three credit cards i'm making an example when you combine the whole limit for all of them you must only use 30 percent or less of the total of the limits of all of your credit cards that is a good credit utilization ratio it is going to look good on your credit score on your credit report
right and another thing with credit cards is if you have a credit card that you've paid off do not close it because just keep it as long as it's not affecting you negatively and you're not going to be using it at all do not close it why so that it does not decrease your credit utilization ratio okay another thing is apply for credit as needed like i said before do not apply for credit when you do not need to do not do window shopping on a credit because it's going to look bad on your um credit report and your credit score is going to look like you're desperate for credit and you need to continue to use credit and it's going to look bad on your credit score and creditors don't like that don't like people who have too many hard inquiries okay and last but not least dispute any inaccuracies on your credit report if you have an account that you've closed off and it still appears on your credit report uh, you can lodge a dispute with any of the credit barriers and they can remove it all right so here i'm going to be showing you the websites to the different credit barriers that we have in south africa we're going to start with experian it is www.experian.com this is what their website looks like you can navigate it to subscribe or check your credit score and credit report the next one I try is TransUnion, transunion.co.za. This is what their website looks like. Same thing. You can navigate or subscribe if you want to, to check your credit score and your credit report. There is a, a subscribe button there. And this is what their website looks like. Remember to subscribe to this channel as well. The next one is CopyScan. And their website is compiscan.co.za. This is what their website looks like. You can navigate this one as well. Find your credit score. You can even subscribe to their term plans. And last but not least, XDS. Their website is xds.co.za. xds.co.za. And this is what their website looks like. So, those are the four credit bureaus that we have in South Africa. You can also dispute anything that is an error on your credit report so that it doesn't affect your credit score negatively. Okay, that's it from me for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Hit me up on my socials. I'll definitely respond if you get straight to the point. Um, I'll see you again next week, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Same place. Thank you.